Hi, this is Jim. You probably know I've been on a sort of a radio kick lately, um, kind of a ham radio marathon. So uh, I completed one kit. It's a DC-20B. Very small uh, radio that's a Morse code only radio. And believe it or not, you can contact people with this who are thousands of miles away. For the size, it's incredible. But here is something even more incredible. It's called a Rockmite 20. 20 stands for 20 meters wavelength. It's a kit also, so you assemble it yourself, of course. It goes into this little box here when it's finished. That's called a Mighty Box. It's really small, also capable of, of really long distance uh, contact. So I'm going to uh, make a video of the kit. I'll show you first how to solder the uh, surface mount component, which is in here. It's the most difficult part, it goes in first. And uh, then I'll do a time-lapse photography uh, video of the uh, building of the kit. And hopefully uh, we'll see it work at the end. Let's see. First here are the uh, contents of the kit. Components here, circuit board, it's double-sided. Uh, some uh, components here that are uh, sensitive to static electricity, so I'm going to go and touch some ground somewhere. Make sure I'm not uh, statically charged. I also got the uh, connectors kit. I think that was a $16, $16 option. By the way, the Rockmite is uh, $29, so a very cheap kit. Kit. Um, it's made by a company, by the way, called Small Wonder Labs, and you'll find them on the internet. My soldering iron is getting warmer here, so uh, let's get started. That surface mount component is so tiny, it's incredible. I've never soldered something that small. Uh, I'm not even sure you can see it. I can barely see the markings on it, um, so I took my time positioning it. And uh, hopefully um, I'll do a good job. I'm wearing reading glasses, but this is so tiny. Is one. I'm going to solder the one uh, opposite to it. I'm trying not to get them too hot. Hopefully that's... I can't even tell if it's soldered or not. Darn. Well, I hope it's alright. We'll see. I'm going to do the other side and uh, then we'll do the time lapse. It's on. Let's see. Whoa. Of course, the iPod doesn't focus that close, but I think it's pretty well done. We'll see at the end.
All right, it's finished. I was maybe a little overconfident that I put it in the box and connected everything. I haven't turned it on yet, of course, and uh, which is called the smoke test. The first time you turn it on, because sometimes smoke is what you get. I have a little watt meter here, I have a dummy load in case it's keyed on by default. And I'm just going to uh, take the power and plug it in. No smoke. There's some static. There's no antenna, so I'm not expecting to pick up anything. Nothing feels hot. What meter isn't moving? Well, let's plug an antenna and see what happens. I'm just going to plug in a long wire. It transmits. It works. So I guess uh, you did everything right. Um, here's the finished product in the box. You have the volume button. The switch to uh, switch the offset uh, plus or minus six uh, hertz, six hundred hertz uh, above or under your signal. Is the uh, earphones plug antenna the powers power plug and the key plug rock mic in a mighty box and uh, I haven't heard any signals yet but I just plugged in a long wire I heard some static I think I heard some faint CW uh, the first time I plugged it in but I'm sure it works um, I'll put everything on my